Welcome back, all my Minecrafting friends, to the Day 7 Player Update of the December 2013 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Today, I have five deaths to tell you about, starting with Prox Silver. Prox Silver actually died in Episode 6, but, um, it was, his episode was posted later than the uh, episode 6 player update, so I didn't get to announce it in the day 6 update. So I'm announcing it in the day 7 update. And the four other deaths I will get to in their turn. Okay, let's begin the update with Senior Eustace. Somebody's beating on a door. Not my door, is it? Senior Eustace is building a path from the house to the mine. Okay? His, uh, his mine is underground below his house, and he's built a, a stair step going down a few, a few levels, and then a path going over to where the mine starts. Okay? And of course, uh, Mike is giving him problems all along the way. Next we have J.R. Gamer Brothers. J.R. Gamer Brothers was killed by an Enderman. So that is the first of the deaths of Day 7. Next on the list is the team of Scotty Garbitas, Max Ryder, Nathan Pelton, and Lost in the Fort. Lost is collecting wood and cobble. Max is mowing the lawn. Nathan is wiring the redstone flashing lamps. And Scotty is uh, doing a little bit of uh, building and uh, basically annoying everyone else on the team. Next we have the walkthroughs PS3. The walkthroughs is Wandering the Nether Lost. He's not the only one wandering the Nether Lost. We have several other players that are lost in the Nether, and I will get to those in their turn. Next we have ZTK Gaming. ZTK Gaming is building a castle and a giant statue. Uh, it looks like it might be a statue of a person, but I'm not sure yet. It isn't completed enough. Next we have Dinos 100. Seriously. He has got the best looking house in the challenge. We need to check this guy's house out. It is really cool. Next we have Pawn 9 TV. Pawn 9 TV is fishing, he's breeding cows, he's making bread, and he built half of a portal. He didn't have quite enough uh, obsidian to finish. Yeah, I think it was too short. Next we have Riesling. Riesling was blown up by a creeper. So that is the number two death in day seven. Riesling blown up by a creeper. Sorry to see that. Uh, I hope to see you come back in January and, and do much better. Next we have Redline 0442. Redline is totally lost. Not in another, just lost in the overworld. He can't find his house. What does this guy want? Okay. Next we have Minecraft Mama and uh, Noodle. They found a Plains Village and they found another Plains Village. So they found a total of two Plains Villages. Fallen Prize. Fallen Prize is fighting blazes to get rods and now he is lost in the nether. Along with the walkthroughs. So, Fallen Prize is lost in the nether. Can't find his portal. Next we have Seaman 010101. Seaman is the Master Wither Skeleton Killer. You gotta watch this guy kill skeletons, Wither Skeletons. Uh, he is better at it than anyone I've ever seen. Next we have Combat Dude. Combat Dude uh, has got blaze rods and he's got another wart, and he's made two brewing stands, so he is uh, set for big things. Next we have It's the Ginger. It's the Ginger worked on his 
underground farm. Uh, sounds like villagers are coming to their doom, but not in this house. I've saved all the ones in this house. Next we have MC Gage the Kid RS. MC Gage the Kid uh, made a glass skylight in the roof of his house, and he also saw a chicken jockey. That is a chicken being ridden by a baby zombie. Next we have Psycho SFK. Psycho has uh, finally made his enchanting table and he's enchanting all this stuff. Enchanting his armor, enchanting his weapons, enchanting his tools. Uh, and he is wandering the savannah looking for a village. But seeing as he is in an amplified world, he's having a really hard time uh, traveling any distance. So he has not found a village yet. He's looking for one. Next we have the F cats. The F cats are lost in the nether. That is lost in the nether along with fallen fries and the walkthroughs. Next we have Mining Ish Melons. Mining Ish Melons is building his bomb. Yes, he's building a bomb. Can't wait to see how that blows up. Next is Nexus. Nexus is working on a very cool castle. It's not done yet, but it looks really good. Next is the V2 Show. The V2 Show found an abandoned mine shaft. And it sounds like the zombies are burning. Okay, the V2 Show found an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, next we have Ace Bats. Ace Bats was blown up by a creeper while looking at his inventory. He was uh, like this, looking at his inventory, uh, standing in a cavern, uh, minding his own business. A creeper walked up behind him and exploded a uh, distance of uh, point blank range and killed him even though he had armor. Which is a lesson to all of us that if you're staring at your inventory, make sure you're doing it uh, in a corner where you can see what's coming with your back to the corner, not your face to the corner, of course. Uh, you know, so you can see what's coming or in a safe place like this room here. So Ace Bats is dead. That is the third of the four deaths in day seven. Next we have EMG Joseph. EMG Joseph uh, killed some pigs, did some mining, and now he's lost his house. Wandering the savannah looking for his house. But at least he's not lost in the nether. He's lost in the overworld, which is a little bit better than being lost in the nether, I think. Next we have Gordon, not Gordon, Goron Craft. Goron Craft is enchanting stuff. He's found more diamonds. He did some x-raying and he made bookcases. Yes. Next we have Leo Alpha. Leo Alpha is collecting obsidian. Next we have Red with a K. Red with a K is searching for more diamonds, but not finding any. His search is being fruitless. Next we have Tori K13. Tori K13 is uh, skeleton grinding. That is uh, killing skeletons in his homemade skeleton grinder. And he is killing blazes to get the rods. And he almost fell into a lava lake when a, a blaze shot a fireball at him, which uh, made, him, made him jump or knocked him to the side, and he almost fell off the edge of a bridge into a lava lake. It was a close call, but he didn't fall, and he's alive, so he's not the fourth death in day seven. Zonex Games. Zonex is the fourth death, the fourth and final death in day seven. Zonex was ambushed by a skeleton and two creepers simultaneously. The skeleton shot him, did some damage, then a creeper blew up right next to him, did some more damage, and another creeper walked up to him and exploded before he had a chance to recover and finished him off. So Zonex is out.
<laughs> Next we have Gamer Trip for Life. Gamer Trip for Life uh, has not posted his video of Day 7 yet, but we are still anxiously awaiting it. So, to recap, our, our dead list now includes uh, Rakozma, the Puka, Crafting Hawk, MC Hockey 555, Happy Guy Inc. MC, XX Papers, Turtle TV, White Fang 53, Dingos Gaming, CTK Gaming, Gleechy, Yates Strex, Mr. Radio Gaming, Legion Container, Prox Silver, JR Gamer Brothers, Riesling, Zone X, and Ace Bats. Yes, they're all dead. Uh, but there's still plenty of people alive, so I can't wait to see what happens in Day 8. This is uh, Mike Daring saying Merry Christmas. Uh.